Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to find out how they view your psychic abilities. How does this person think and view your psychic abilities? I just realized I wanna, sorry for the noise in the background. Literally as I want to film, trash guys here. Shocker, always happens. Black obsidian is pile one. The lip gloss, pile two. Pile three is the lighter. And pile four is the dye. The crystal, the lip gloss, the lighter, and the dye. All right, so let's find out. Pile one. Oh gosh, pile one. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing a headache. You could be getting a headache, a migraine right now because you're dealing with this person. This person's going through like a Kundalini awakening, a third eye awakening right now, guys. I heard the name Anthony. I'm hearing Tiffany. They're going through something like a mass awakening and they, they kind of need your help. Yeah, I'm hearing they need your help. Um, I'm hearing that they think you guys would make an amazing power couple or you're already together and they, you make an amazing power couple. It's cute. it's cute, yeah. They think you're cute. They think you're cute. They think you're special. Special little butterfly, yeah. Let's get one card overall for pile one, black obsidian. Creation, yeah, you see the moon on this person's third eye. It's like, it's, it, they're going through migraines right now. But I'm hearing they're starting to see your plan. They see your plan for this connection. Mm -hmm. I think I just got hit with evil eye during the live stream. I'll send that shit back tenfold later. I'm not worried about it. But there is something about Black Obsidian. Like, you guys are really great at protecting your energy. And this person wants to know more. They want to know how you do that. I'm hearing how you always wake up with a pep in your step. This is your twin flame. I'm reading for twins today, by the way from this day on for the rest of my life. I love twin flames, period, that's it. I'm waiting for twins, there it is. I've made that public service announcement. Um, this person thinks you're incredibly gifted at channeling and also psychic protection. I'm hearing psychometry as well. Um, I think being able to touch an object and, and feel where it came from or like information about it, 22, 22 on the clock. This person's getting a ton of signs and synchronicities about you. How do they feel about your gifts? Overwhelmed. There's too many. <laughs> I'm, hearing, I'm hearing there's too many. Um, um, I heard the name Ryan. I'm also hearing there's too many and um, they are starting to get your gifts. And there's too many. They're like, let's throw that shit back in the water. I don't need half of these. <laughs> mm. How do they see your gifts? How do they see your abilities? Challenging. You're challenging them and it's like, can we slow it down? You guys got these gifts, I think maybe you got to learn them over the years. Mm -mm, this person gets them overnight. Oh, time for change, that's what I'm hearing. A time to learn something new, to use technologies and gadgets with wisdom. You know what's one of their gifts? They can alter lights or um, numbers, electro electronics. This might be your gift too, but I'm getting like they can, they can send you messages through signs and synchronicities in the universe. Like that's how powerful they are. They can do something with uh, technology. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Yeah. Yeah. I said something about channeling. They think that you're a channel, a really good channel, okay? They're starting to see the blueprint for you and them working together in mission. That's what I'm hearing, together, you two, taking over the world in love. We have mother here. Bring a gentle touch. I'm getting that the divine feminine, this person wants you to be known for your gifts of healing. You're a mother. You might not even be a physical mother. Maybe, maybe some of you do have kids, but they want you to be known for your gentle touch in mothering people. Cause that's like a really a divine gift you have as the empress, right? So this person wants children with you, but I'm also getting, they, they want, um, They want people to see you as a mom, like a mom figure to the world. That's, that's wow. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, 
this one just popped out. It says birthing a new age. So that's funny. Maybe you're gonna have kids with this person. It says birthing and it just popped out. Literally, it just, the first card just flipped over. Um, they want kids with you. You might even have a baby with this person now or you're gonna get pregnant soon. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world and a being. What did I just say? They're getting the blueprint. They understand what new earth is supposed to look like with you two. How you guys are supposed to build this together. They're starting to understand your idea. Your idea was all up here, but telepathically and somehow in visions, you're showing this person like, this is the next step. Do you see it now? Do you see where we're supposed to go? Do you see what we're supposed to be? Do you see how we're supposed to speak? Do you see it? They're, they're getting it. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're teaching them. Judgment. You are their spirit guide. You're a twin flame, so that you are their higher self. They are your higher self. It's the same soul. So yeah, I'm hearing, can you work with me? Can you work with me on this? You're shining a light and you're showing them, this is where we go. This is what we do. This is how we speak, right? This is what business we own. This is where we invest. This is how we collaborate. Like you're, you're showing them. But they're hearing, God, you have too, I'm hearing you have too many gifts. God, I'm hearing it's too much. It's too much. Tune that shit down. The scorpion. Yes, Scorpio energy here. Mm, that's like the underworld. Like, they're really in a hot pickle. They're in a bit of a, a bit of a jam right now. Dragon. Scorpion and dragon. This is giving me like they're starting to realize they have a battle on their hands. Like these spiritual gifts are given to those who are chosen, but why do you think you're that powerful? Because you fight very, very powerful, venomous people. It's not people. These are principalities anyway. These are not people. These are demonic fucking strongholds. These aren't people. We're talking about entities, um, corporations, governments, establishments, you know societal norms i'm hearing with great power comes great responsibility so the problem is that you had to see all of this on your own for the longest time but now they have all of these gifts overnight and they're like wait why is it this why do i have this much if i have this much power it must mean that one someone kept that power from me something kept me from knowing that power what the fuck is that whatever it is they're starting to become aware of it, okay? It's really just the matrix, guys. It's really just ignorance. It's really just a frequency that kept us out of our own alignment, right? But this person is starting to see like, oh God, an eye in the sky, like someone is watching me, um, monitoring me, monitoring spirits I'm hearing. They need your psychic protection more than ever. All right, um, let's get some more tarot here. Yeah, we have tiger's eye and here's the eye. Like. Ooh. I just heard they think someone is hurting you as well. Someone's like spying on you or like affecting you right now as well. Hmm. But that you're getting over it. You're getting over it because you understand the intensity of it. They're just now waking up to the fact that there was someone in invading this connection. Wow, crazy, crazy reading, guys. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So they, they see now you're getting truth and clarity about someone who is extremely invasive, monitoring spirits, somebody like sent to hurt you. And they're getting truth now because you're standing up for yourself against the devil. Girl, you can't make it up. Seven of Wands and the devil. You're defending yourself and keeping yourself safe and strong and they're gonna do the same exact thing. They're following suit because of you. This person is like so in love with you, okay? I heard inner turmoil. There's inner turmoil in their heart towards you right now. They feel, they feel so strongly and they feel like they ruined it. They ruined you, that, that, that someone, the devil here, whoever this is, hurt you for a really long time because of them and their inaction. But, but I'm hearing spirit say like it wasn't their fault. They were inactive because they hadn't yet had an awakening. They didn't know who the hell they were or what gifts they had, okay? But they do now. Your person's waking up to the fact that they have gifts as well. 
Okay, the same ones. I heard there's different, there's different ones they have too, but I'm hearing, if not better, theirs might be stronger than yours, which is, I think a lot of you might be like, what, that back? No way. Page of Swords. Uh, there's someone spying on you, and I know you see it. I know you see it. You don't want anything to do with this person, but it, it, this person's like abusive as shit, and whoever it is, um, you were weak, I feel, around them because they wanted you weak. Spiritually speaking, they wanted you weak. This was a karmic. This was a karmic that followed you, tortured you, I'm hearing, energetically and spiritually. And your person's starting to learn that. Okay, guys? All right, so I hope that reading helped. If you want a personal, all the information's down below. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Holy Spirit, to me and pile. Pile two. Pile two. Hmm. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Pile two. How do they feel about your bill? Oh my God. Okay, the emperor, the lovers. We could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Let's let's get some cards. The Holy Spirit, tune me in. Oh, I heard like you're gonna expose everything. Ten of Cups. This could be somebody in your family, a dad figure. Could be a dad figure. I'm getting um um um. Wow. The high priestess. I hear that you're laying all dirty laundry like out for everybody. I'm just like, hey, by the way, you're a narcissist. Hey, you literally abused me. You should rot in hell. I feel like pile two, you guys are not fucking around. Like this person that we're referring to, I heard Annie, the devil bitch. I'm telling you, you're calling it all out. You're like, listen, you're actually a fucking narc. <laughs> you're a narcissist. And I don't want you ever again. Go rot in hell. Bye. So cute. The way you're doing it is so cute. <laughs> bye. <laughs> like, I don't need you. I'll never need you again. Go rotten hell, bye. <laughs> cute, guys. Seven of Wands. Like, you are so defensive right now. This person, okay, the way that they view your gifts, like, they're terrified because you're actually sending them to a reality that they built for themselves, which is really hell, guys. When we, look, if heaven is within you and it's a frequency, then so is hell. Hell is within you, it's a frequency. It's which one are you feeding? This person constantly created hell for themselves and you, and now you're finally saying no and sending this person back to hell where they came from. I'm hearing jail. Some of you might even be sending this person to jail. You're laying it all out. <laughs> all right. Um, see, here's the thing. This person spies on you. And I know you feel it with the Page of Swords. You feel like they can't get over the past, but yet they're not apologizing. A message that came up on Patreon, if you guys want to check that out on the third, I'm posting that, um, who's, visit, who's visiting your dreams or something or why. This person, that reading was, they're going to apologize, but it's, they're full of shit. They're full of shit. The only reason this person's apologizing is because they're about to get their ass handed to them. They're going to a reality that is so dark, so grim. They are going to be matched vibrationally with people of their like-mindedness, of equal caliber. Narcissist, meet narcissist. <laughs> Happily never after. I didn't make the rules, guys. This is how it is. This is this person's dark night of the soul starts when you move on from them and they know it. So how do they view your gifts? Like it's make or break it for them? Your psychic and spiritual gifts is literally a kiss of death. That's it. And that's what I'm hearing. It's the kiss of death. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody's entering your dream space. And I'm hearing your spirit team's like, we fucking gave you chances. We told you to back off. We told you to stop watching. Look at Ace of Swords. There it is. We told you. We told you and you wouldn't listen. Good luck. Good luck. Page of Wands. Yeah, there it is, the messenger. You kept telling them, telling them, telling them, hello, hello, leave me the fuck alone. They wouldn't listen, honey. Five of swords, they kept bringing all this shit to your doorstep. 
They wanted conflict, they're about to get it, but they're not getting it with you. No, 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 no. They're gonna get it with a whole bunch of people who are just like them. You're just, you're not like them. You're enlightened. You, you've gained a enlightenment. You've gained a level of consciousness. Now you can send this person to hell where they came from. That's what I see. So how does this person view your abilities? Like it is going to be the end of them. Tower. Can't make it up, guys. Look at that chaos and destruction. Everything they did for you, they're getting it right back. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, a Capricorn. I heard it, or an El Diablo. That's what I heard. This person could speak Spanish. I heard, or an El Diablo. <laughs> you could be dealing with the devil. I mean, really. Um, yeah, is it, any under, is it any wonder they didn't want you to have your gifts? Is it any wonder they tried to make and mimic, make it out like mock you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and confusing. I couldn't even speak just now. Is it, is it any wonder they, they mocked you and didn't want you to be powerful? Shit. One last card here for pile two. How do they view your abilities? I heard escape hatch. The thinking woman. Like now all of a sudden, you're not thinking of them anymore and now they have to like escape somehow. They have to escape it. They can't escape. Hostilities. They can't escape. Anxiety. They cannot. You have anxiety with hostilities. They can't escape. They're going to be met. The, 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 calm it down. That chaotic chaos energy is not yours. You're the, you're the, you're the eye of the hurricane, honey. Stay calm. Your life is going to look hella good. They can't do shit to you. This hostility and anxiety, that's all them. Good, good riddance. They're gonna be met with people who are hostile and anxious, just like them. They wouldn't listen. I'm hearing they refused. Okay, listen, this is what I'm hearing. They refused to listen to spirit when you consistently told them there's gonna be hell to pay for stalking, harassing, sending monitoring spirits, dark magic. This person knew all along what they were doing was wrong because you kept telling them to leave. They just didn't care about your boundaries. They didn't care about your free will. They heard it. They heard you say, leave me alone, leave me alone. But they didn't do that, which is a crime. If it were happening in real time, you would call the police in, in the real world, but it was happening energetically. So what can you really do about it? Glad you ask. There is such a thing called spiritual court. There is a spiritual court that is taking care of this, okay? They didn't listen. They refused. They heard you. They just didn't listen. Karma. Enjoy it, honey. Enjoy it. It's yours, not mine. And it's certainly not pile twos. Look at the six of wands. I feel like you guys might even be in the spotlight. Some of you might also be readers like me. And I think that you guys kept telling this person vocally out loud all the time. Like, leave me alone, leave me alone. They didn't. That's no different than a stalker that'd be following you when you tell them to leave you alone and they follow you through the streets for the next five hours. That's, that's, that would be a crime. That's like stalking or something. I'm not sure what it is legally, but that's gross. They didn't do it. They didn't leave you alone. So how do they feel about your gifts? Like if you are as gifted as you claim to be, I heard you're a very gifted child. You were a very gifted child. This person could be your mom or your dad um, or a sibling. Um, they stopped you from knowing your true worth, your true divinity, um, how gifted you really were because you were already caught. From like, like guys, I'm hearing from a baby. From a, from, from, from a baby, you were already causing this person to go to hell, like by you being the light because that's where they deserve to be because they have so much bad karma. This person's evil evil, toxic, even from, this is why they tried to silence you and they did, they managed to for a really long time, but now you're getting your, your gifts back, I'm hearing. Your Claire audience your Claire, your Claire's, your Claire's are coming back. Um, wow, they tried, they tried it. They, 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 they did. They were successful in, in muting you and silencing you and keeping your gifts a secret from you. Cause I'm talking to somebody who didn't even know they had gifts in the beginning of your life. And now you have psychic gifts and I'm hearing spirits say like, from like, I don't know, age five, 
you were able to convict this person spiritually of crimes. I don't, maybe you'd cry, maybe you would, uh, I don't think you knew what you were doing. I don't think you knew it, but you were somehow sending this person where they deserve to be energetically while you were with them. But now you're not with them and imagine how much more so the spirit world, listen, this person's done. <sighs> Not only because you're no longer with them, they can finally get their karma. Snip, snip, you've cut cords. Now spirit doesn't want you going back, okay? Because their karma is going to be hideous. But here's the thing. They, if they would have allowed you to cause judgment at five years old, by now, they have probably already had a better life. They'd have purged, healed, they'd have gone within, they'd have paid off their karmic debt, bada bing, bada boom. But, but imagine now having affected an earth angel and convinced them all this time that they are really the devil and that they're not even gifted and that their gifts are embarrassing or toxic or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what they said to you, but just imagine now how much worse it is now because they had years to do this to you. Dude, it's even worse. This person's like, they are fucked. Ooh, they're done. Like this person is done. I'm getting past lives. They did this shit to you, past lives. Yeah, I heard it's not a threat, it's a promise. That's what I just heard Spirit say. I heard that's not a threat. You're, you're, I heard you're done, you're done for. That's not a threat, that's a promise. New moon promise here, and then we have the energy is gaining momentum. I'm hearing the reason the energy is gaining momentum and your, your, your gifts are coming in so strongly is twofold. One, because you're, you're distancing yourself from this person and they were the one trying to keep you silent. And two, it's coming in because you are now gifted by spirit to have that person sent to karmic prison. Literal prison? Maybe. Shit, I don't know. They're going to do something stupid to maybe end up, wind up in prison. It's the fall of an emperor. It's the fall of an empire. This person's a fake and a fucking phony, and they deserve every ounce of it they get. Please, please. Ask me if I care. Ask me if I care. These evil, evil people on the planet deserve every fucking ounce of it they get. I don't, like, like I give a shit. Bye. They stole your free will. You had sovereignty and boundaries and you said out loud, leave me alone, leave me alone. And they didn't. They didn't. That's what I'm saying. So how do they feel about your gifts? Like they are honestly on the chopping block. They're next up on the chopping block and you're doing it. It's all you. Nobody else. Just you. Just you growing and ascending is literally sending them to hell. It's judgment day, babe. Pile three. I heard Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Pile three. Uh, Holy Spirit, please tune me to Pile Three's energy. How does this person feel about your gifts? I'm hearing you could be a reader. You're a reader just like me. It could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. I made it through the wilderness. This person recently saw someone that you don't like. And at first, I don't think they agreed that they shouldn't like them. But now I'm hearing, yeah, I heard they're a punk ass. That's what I heard. This person's a punk ass. <laughs> so, so you were trying to tell somebody like, hey, intuitively, I'm getting bad vibes, right? And then your person didn't listen. But now they're like, yeah, no, actually, they're, they're bad news. They're bad news. It could be a fire sign or you could be dealing with one. The higher font. This person could have been a higher font, like somebody who 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 acted like a leader, acted like they were some big shot, you know. And you were like, "Uh, listen, I don't like that." I heard fake and a phony. You called out a wolf in sheep's clothing. You recently called out this King of Cups uh, higher font here could be. You called it out. You're like, I don't fucking trust that person. And you told your twin flame. I'm reading for twin flames, guys. By the way, for the rest of forever. There's my public service announcement. You're welcome. I don't read for the other collectives. I don't. I read for twins. That's it anymore. I invest into the twin flame community because I love the twin flames that are really real twin flames. Star seeds and twin flames. Business entrepreneurs, all of it. Like, like me as a reader, I've graduated so much. I used to read for a very fallen collective. 
and I tried my best to heal those that didn't want the healing and I tried to uplift those that didn't want uplifting and now I'm just like no thanks I'm out deuces the hermit I'm pulling my energy back I'm like nah bye so pile three I think that your person is actually seeing you like that they see you go ghost they've seen you go ghost on someone you okay I'm hearing obviously you know how to back it up at first your twin did not see how gifted you were I'm hearing you're a butterfly look at this the magician you're a butterfly you were under some sort of uh, dark magic and your person didn't know like who you were really because there was a level of magic on you both could have been from that higher font I was getting something about this higher font magician here this is like a fucking coven or some shit this is like a, a cult this is like a cult leader okay a cult leader did something to you both and I'm hearing I'm so sorry I couldn't see who you were I didn't know who you were I'm hearing Abigail Alexis I'm here I didn't know who you were I didn't know who you were now I know your wish fulfillment but that's only because we worked off the the dark magic like it broke this spell broke wow wow okay I heard hex and I'm hearing the name Heather a girl named Heather might have hexed you I'm hearing hex you guys were hexed the tower the sun in reverse, like it, it, they needed clarity and they got it. They finally got it. The spirit world's giving them, look, Ace of Pentacles, giving them clarity. The sun now is upright to expose a tower that was built on faulty foundation. I'm hearing your person say um, a group or coven that they helped build is all but crumbled. You need to know that. You need to be aware. Oh my God, the devil bitch in reverse on the split. You can't make it up. This, this like wicked, wicked coven is going down. I'm hearing there's one per, stop. I split this open and we have the mission, dark magic. Listen, I heard that there's one person, the name Tim came up. There's one person in particular you knew was bad news and you told your person and they did not believe you. It could have even been their best friend or something like that, pile three. I keep hearing Gregory. Gre a guy named Gregory is somehow following these readings. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, the Leo strength card here. What is that? They're I need you to be aware that I'm hearing, yes, Jenna, just relay it. It's their best friend. It was the one that was that close to them. I'm hearing yin and yang. They were like, they were like two peas in a pod, these people wheel of fortune but it's turning it's turning like they they've turned on them the devil i fucking saw it again seven of swords all right i'm gonna move on um so they've got an airplane they want to travel to you airplane i'm here and book a ticket i'm booking a ticket to see you page of pentacles i have an offer for you do you want to travel with me king of swords air travel air travel for some page of pentacles eight of swords how do you feel about their gifts Obviously, it means something. Obviously, if you were able to see this before I was, there was something blindfolding me. It means that you have gifts. I don't know if they know everything about what your gifts are, but they obviously know you get some sort of guidance from somewhere. And I, I didn't I say butterfly? Look at the butterfly behind him in the, on the throne. Is that a butterfly? Looks like it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I'm seeing something I never saw before. Me, Jenna, as a reader, I'm like, oh wait, is that a butterfly? Wait, what? Yeah, it is, oh my God. They're seeing clearly now that they were under a spell. That, that's what I'm getting. That somebody had them in a fucking curse, like a, like a hex. Page of Swords, they see it now, guys. They see it, they spot it. I feel like the feminine saw it first, that the masculine didn't. What's happening now? Ten of Pentacles. They have a lot to offer you now. They have a lot to offer you. A lot of you are afraid to bring your person back in because you think they're just going to use you or manipulate you or something, but the curse has already broken. It's already over. All you have to do is believe it, pile three. It's like, I can tell you till I'm blue in the face, but if you guys don't believe that reality, then, then, okay, bye. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I think you're very afraid of the, the speed at which this person is is approaching you now 
Some of you might even think it's to avoid karma. But they've already paid their karmic debt. You guys were already both cursed together, hexed together. You've already paid karmic debt. This person wants to stop, just like you do. You're the same soul. If you want to stop suffering, so do they. If you want to approach love, so do they. If you want to run from love, so do they. If you want to hide, so do they. If you want to be out in the public, so do they. It's, you're the same fucking soul. So the point I'm trying to make is they have an overwhelming amount of love and resources for you, but you almost don't want them to come back. The High Priestess. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to just like stay single, stay on your own, kind of like withhold energy here. You know secrets about them now. It's almost like you've seen how weak they are. You've seen how weak they are to get bamboozled like that. But to be honest, Bio 3, at one time you were weak too. At one time you didn't see shit either. You woke up first. It's not a crime. You woke up first, they woke up after you. It's not fair to hold this over this person's head for the rest of eternity, okay? Ace of Cups, because they love you and they want to take a fool, they want to take a fool's chance right towards you. So I'm gonna say it just because I'm a hopeless romantic. Forgive this person. Let them off the hook. They already paid the price. The betrayal of their best friend being a snake, that was bad enough. They don't need you hating them for the rest of eternity. But if you want to, hey, have at it. Just, you know, unsubscribe because I'm gonna be the type of reader that will call you out and be like, uh, you're the one that's anti-love, not them. Well, actually, technically, because you are mirroring them, if you're anti-love, so are they, right? But they don't wanna be anti-love. They want to have you realize like, okay, yeah, your gifts, I didn't appreciate them. You had the gift of discernment and I didn't. And I'm sorry, I made a total, I, like, like it was so stupid. It was so stupid. You guys, you both were hexed. I need you to know that. Look at this on the split, bitch. I'm gonna leave it here and then I'm done. Envy. And there's yin and yang right under it. Damn, I'm good. I picked up this deck. There it is, Envy. You guys had evil eye on you by someone that was yin and yang. I heard that. I heard that this best friend, they thought was like yin and yang. We got 2022 here. They could have met in 2022 or they knew each other from 20 to 22, something like that. Yin and Yang. They thought that they went together like Yin and Yang, like 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 best friends, like forever. It's bad enough that their own best friend deceived them and betrayed them. You guys have to get out of this whole like, no, fuck him though, fuck him. He was weak and fell under a spell. Yeah, we all did. Get out of here with that. Look at this healer of ages. Now nah, fuck that. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over anybody who tries to tell me like, no, he can just ride in hell. It's like, whatever, whatever. Bro, that's your twin. That's your twin flame. So if you claim he should rot in hell, guess where, guess where you're going, huh? Guess where you're going. This is your twin. Literally your divine counterpart. Two flames here. Twin flame. The real yin and yang. All right? Anyway, I'm over it. I'm over trying to coddle people like, you don't want to forgive? Totally cool. But stop claiming that you want love because you fucking don't. Because if you wanted love, you'd be unconditionally loving. They were under a spell. They fell asleep. Not their fault. It wasn't any of our faults. We all fell under the veil of consciousness. We were all living under the veil of awareness. All of us. Literally every single person on the motherfucking planet. So take that whole like pious attitude, the holier than thou, the higher horse thing, and just go shove it. You know what I mean? Anyway, bye. I feel like I just want to say like, get out of my face. Like really. Bye. Pile four. Hello and welcome to your reading. Holy Spirit, please help me channel a message for pile four. Those who chose the die, welcome to your reading. How does your person? Let's see. I'm hearing the name Robert. It's something about Fry. I heard F-R-Y, their last name could be Fry or something. How does this person feel about your psychic gifts, Holy Spirit? Sing your own song. That's interesting. That came up in the live stream today. Time to collaborate. One of your gifts is being able to speak life into people. But not only that, I'm getting like you can actually bring in people to work with you and give you things very easily. Like if, by all four, if you were to say something like, you know what, I want a free iPod. Boom. Someone would just like show up and be like, hey, I got this iPod and I really don't want it. Now I'm just wondering, do you want it? 
It's like it's like that. God, iPod, don't judge. Yes, I'm 95 years old, stuck in a 34 year old body. Please leave me alone iPods. They're, they were cool once. So was I. I was cool at one time. Yeah. I know. Contrary to popular belief. But they think that you can, like, speak things into existence. That's, like, the coolest gift they think you have, okay? Trust the magic. Yeah, like, you fucking create magic by just speaking. I think you're a channel. I'm also hearing one of the coolest gifts you have is, um channeling but but i was also getting something else uh, uh light language light language you can do light language they think it's really cool i don't know if you explored much of that yet though pile four you guys would be really great yeah fairy of the divine hand intoxication distorted view overindulgence hold on what's this the age of light you've been training for oh, holy shit this person knows like <sighs> Whew. they know excuse me that you are like a goddess, a deity, like, like, pure light, <laughs> like, they know, like, a fairy, like, you're a fairy, we have island solitude here, yeah, I'm definitely reading for somebody who's been in solitude for years and years and years and years and for a long time, for a long time, uh, you've been alone for a minute, this person's hella impressed by you, the fact that you can bring in people who, like, give you things. It's time for a treat. Yeah. Candy cane. I'm hearing, I've got candy. I don't know why I heard that, but I'm like, I've got candy. And people, people like, always have something to offer you. <laughs> like, that's creepy, though, without the way I heard it. That's fun. This and that are true dolphin spirit. You guys are really fun. You're really fun. This person loves how you speak. I feel like you're very empathic, but you're also emphatic. Like you give things with energy. Like like when you speak, it's like with your hands, and it's like it's like hi. And, um, I'm so in love, and it's like it's like, the, like like the way you do things. They love it. They love it. They know you're really gifted because where else does that come from? That has to come from somewhere. It comes from spirit. It comes from your soul essence. It comes from light. And they're aware. They're fully aware. This person, Pile 4, is fully aware of your gifts. They think it's amazing. They think, like, you are legit a healer. 100%. Like, they would never question any of it. Like, I know with me, light language is sometimes weird. And I don't... I, I still have this, my own thing I have to work through about speaking light language out loud to people, which is basically speaking in tongues, right? I still have that, that you know, I have a little problem there with that, with my self-esteem. But with you guys, I'm hearing it's, like, it's going to be taken care of. Like, it's not going to be that way forever. Um... You're going to feel very bold about how you sing, how you speak, how you act, how you convey messages. Yeah? How do they feel about your gifts? Yeah, I'm hearing, well, it has to come somewhere. This passion you have, it comes from somewhere, right? It's like, it's, it's like over emphatic. It's like, it's like expressive. It comes from somewhere. Firefly, I'm hearing you are the star of the show. Like, it comes from somewhere. You are a pure light. Pure light. This person sees your, you, you are pure light. You are a healer. You are a gifted fucking healer. And you are here to help the world ascend. Wow. You are the light, is what I'm hearing. Snake. Something about, like, esotericism here, too, because I'm getting, like, the light, like, like, um, um, I was getting Lucifer here, like, the light bringer, right? I don't know. It's something, this person is, like, really, really into what you talk about, okay? They could, I'm hearing, I could listen to you talk for hours. You guys might have had like a five hour conversation or something. Like I, I'm hearing, I could talk to you all fucking day. Like, like all day. They're really into how expressive you are, guys. They sit there and they just eat that shit up. Wow. How does this person feel about you as a person though? Bat, like I'm telling you, it's esotericism here. The snake, the bat, it's like you're very mystical, very, um, magical they learn a lot from you the otter and didn't i say playful I, I was like you're so playful and you're so fun the otter is just like really fun loves to have a good time oh my god it's so cute so cute uh it's very magical mm -hmm. um yeah i think that's what i have for you guys if you want a personal with me all the information is in the description i'll talk to you later Bye bye